Hi YouTube, 4-Eyed Piper here, doing my normal daily hour-long commute. It's a beautiful, beautiful fall day today. And I thought that I would uh, do a quick video response for Dale Piper and his giveaway. Uh, Dale Piper, you uh, I, I really love your channel, man. I, I like your uh, delivery. You got a lot of great... Uh, Great content, very unique content. I hope folks are checking out his channel. Uh, you really need to. He's a great storyteller, this guy. Uh, you really need to check out his channel and uh, get a video response in for his giveaway. I love the prizes. Uh, I think it's uh, very unique to uh, give away the uh, candlestick holder and the uh, magnifying glass. Very classy, I think. Would go very well with anyone's tobacco collection or in their den. So uh, I want to put my hat in the ring on this one. I think it's pretty interesting. So what Dale Piper asked us to report back on was the most unforgettable person you have ever met. And uh, mine is uh, maybe a little, a little corny to some people, but uh, I choose my wife, Christy, as the most unforgettable person in my life. And I'll, I'll tell you why. I have a story. So when I was 12 years old, I moved. Uh, my, my parents got divorced, and I went to live with my mom in another town. And uh, I moved away. Uh, I, I went to a town where I, I knew nobody. I didn't have any friends at all. In fact, it was a little bit daunting because the town that I moved to was kind of the rival town of the small town that I uh, grew up in, in all of the, you know, obviously high school sports and things like that. So it was pretty daunting. And uh, so I started school and I didn't know anyone. And I went to a few classes and I'm a naturally shy person, so, which might be surprising to some, but I am. Um, and, you know, I was kind of just keeping my head down and hiding throughout the day. And I remember. Uh, going into my seventh grade earth science class and sitting down and just observing the class, watching the people kind of filtering in. Everyone's talking to each other because they grew up together. And I remember this really pretty girl walking into class with this huge head of curly, tight, tight curly hair. And I'd never seen anyone with hair like hers before. And now, if you guys have seen our videos, you you may or may not be able to tell she's got some crazy, crazy curly hair, my wife. And immediately, I was just stricken by her, you know, just completely floored and uh, developed a bit of a crush on her over the course of the next few weeks, months, years. Um, we became friends very, very close friends in high school, but I always had uh, kind of a secret crush on her, and, well, maybe it wasn't so much of a secret. There were quite a few people who knew. Um, but she really, uh, you know, we kind of just didn't didn't really uh, get together at all in high school, didn't really roam in the same circles exactly, um, but I always kind of held this secret kind of flame for her. And uh, years went by, we, uh, you know, grew up, graduated high school, um, kind of went our separate ways, and I always kind of compared, <laughs> compared, I don't know if that's the right word, but I always thought of her as the standard by which I compared every other girl that I dated um, in my life, and Years later, we, we both moved to separate uh, parts of the country. I moved out to Los Angeles for a time. Uh, she moved to Daytona Beach, Florida. And, uh, you know, it seemed as though maybe our paths would never connect again. Then I had a phone call come in. In any case, uh, both Christy and I moved to separate areas of the country. And there really wasn't a good chance that we would ever connect again. But as circumstances came to be, I ended up moving back to 
what I consider my hometown in New York, Western New York, and I uh, was working for the company that I work for. And Christy, um, in between uh, moving from back from Daytona Beach and onto whatever destination she had next, she stopped in and she was uh, staying with her parents for a little while and happened to come into the store that I was working at and we we connected and uh, decided to go have dinner together. Long story short, within a month we moved in together and within a year we were married. Within two years we purchased a house together and within five years we have we had a, our first child. Within seven years we had our second. So things just kind of rolled from there and uh, I got to be with the girl that I always uh, pined after in high school and so on and so forth. So my wife has always been that person who made that great impression on me as a young man and uh, I don't think there's too many too many people who can say that they are with the person who they who is their kind of dream dream girl or dream guy or whatever you want to say so I'm really proud of that I, I love my wife we are just such a, an amazing match together um, and it all came from 12th or 7th grade earth science class so so that's my uh, VR. The sun's been shining in my face. It probably looks like crap, but uh, that is my response, Dale Piper. And I just want to say congratulations on your channel. Uh, I think it's going very, very well, and I think more and more people will start checking it out. Uh, great content you have, and uh, just very pleased to to uh, listen to your stories. So thank you very much, and I hope... I see you soon. Uh, hope to see you in one of our lives, perhaps, Dale Piper. Uh, all right, we'll take. Uh, we'll we'll see you soon. Take care, everybody.